So we have here a common nighthawk that was found and brought to us because of a fractured wing. The nighthawks are migrating right now, so it's common for us to get in these birds. Um, we can tell right off the bat that this is an adult because of the wing bars. You can see the white span several feathers there, so we're dealing with an adult. We saw in the box he was drooping one of his wings. We're going to do a really quick exam here, feeling for any fractures of the wings. So I'm feeling the humerus, the radius and ulna, and up here at the wing tip I can feel a fracture in the metacarpals. And if we look on that side, um, there's a little bit of blood, a little bit of dried blood there, so it might be an open fracture, but we'll need to take some x-rays under sedation so that the patient's not stressed out and in pain while we're evaluating that fracture. I'm going to quickly take a look at this other wing, humerus, radius, ulna, end of the wing looks good, we have great extension. I'm going to feel the shoulders quickly, and they feel good. And then I did notice too, one of the eyes looked a little bit traumatized, so I'm going to take a look in this eyeball. It actually doesn't look too bad. Um, the pectin and retina seem to be okay so far, but the pupil's not really responding to the light, which is kind of normal in these nighthawks. They can voluntarily control their pupil size, so it's not abnormal for them to be able to dilate their pupil on command. Uh, but both the retinas appear okay, so that's good news for this bird. And then quickly we're going to assess body condition. Very good typical of these traumatic injuries in the migrating birds. So we're going to take some x-rays, see what that fracture looks like, and evaluate if we can fix it or not.